Israel has already agreed to this deal and the fighting could stop today. On the brink of peace, the meeting happening right now that could stop the fighting in Gaza. This morning, the International Institute of St. Louis is seeing its largest number of immigrant arrivals in nearly two decades. We're live with why the need is so great and how the community can help. Temperature still comfortable today, but tomorrow the heat and humidity ramp up and we stay in the 90s through the weekend. We'll detail some storms that could impact your Friday morning. Pride in our city, how St. Louis is celebrating the LGBTQIA plus community today. High fly ball hit toward left center. He's the seventh Cardinal to ever receive it. The award Paul Goldsmith will accept today. This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, June the 11th. I'm Randy Knott. And I'm Michelle Lee. Thanks for joining us. You know, I said if you're out this morning, it mm -hmm. kind of feels like fall, just a little bit. Okay. And then Anthony said, what? He and backed we were, you up on he that. He backed me up a yeah, little bit. I said it was Yeah, in the 40s. I feel like I was paying attention. Yeah, yeah it is a little nice out there. Your, your body don't lie, right? <laughs> You walk outside, you feel it, and you're like, what is this? Yeah, cool air. Look at that. That's what we're talking about. Mount Vernon, Florida in the 40s there. Even St. Louis Lambert has fallen down to 58 and a lot of low 50s on the map this morning from Chesterfield, Sullivan, Warrington, even Alton. So, yes, a refreshing start, and it will be nice later on. Not overly humid, but temperatures today in the 80s for highs. Now, the humidity starts to climb tomorrow. The muggy meter shows that we are going back into that muggy category as soon as tomorrow through the weekend. We also have rain chances to tell you about for Friday morning. We'll talk about that coming up. Let's get you out the door. Still have to get to work and some of the kids have summer school. Paul, what's going on on the roads? Yes, indeed. And you want to know about some construction that might uh, might uh, happen while you're going to that summer school that you don't go to every day or maybe it's vacation Bible school, that kind of thing. Right now we do have construction the only active scene of construction where you're going to see workers and you have to be extra careful is near Six Flags 44 going westbound, but we have delays going eastbound as well. So that's a scene we want to make sure we take advantage of. Well, in the uh, in the no factor and then same story here on 64 64 at K. You will deal with some construction and a delay, but look at this Poplar Street Bridge moving very, very well. Same story in Wentzville, which I'm really happy to see because it can bog down, but this is the crunch time hour. Be careful. We will make sure you're in the know about anything coming up. New this morning, all lanes of Interstate 70 are back open at 270 after a serious early morning crash shut the highway down. Crews cleared the scene just an hour ago. The crash happened around 230 this morning and only involved one vehicle. We've reached out to the North County Police and Missouri State Highway Patrol to learn if anyone was hurt. Say aye. aye. Opposed. The ayes have been an update this morning to something that we've been covering now for weeks. Plans to renovate the University City Police Department and court buildings will indeed move forward. The City Council voted 6-1 to one in favor of the project. Work will start right away and should be finished by 2026. The City will also use existing revenue to fund this construction. Also today in Granite City, the Mayor Mike Parkinson will give updates on the state of the city and plans for growth. The public meeting starts at 6 o'clock tonight at the mill in the district on Niedringhouse Avenue. Right now, the International Institute of St. Louis needs your help. This morning, St. Louis is seeing the largest number of immigrant arrivals in nearly two decades. Our Mercedes McKay is joining us live from the nonprofit's headquarters. And Mercedes, you know, of course, we want to know why is the need so great and why is it all happening right now? Michelle and Rennie, it's actually a mixture of things. Right now, as we all know, we're seeing turmoil in many countries around the world. Also, the federal government is giving refugees more opportunities to move here to the United States. That's why the International Institute of St. Louis is pleading for your donations. They're looking for a place where they can call uh, a home where they can find hope and 
and start their, their lives all over again. That hope for so many starts here at the International Institute of St. Louis. Especially at this time in the world when we're seeing continuous rise in the mo movement of displaced people, we're incredibly lucky to have the opportunity to serve them. But when President and CEO Ray Benson says that mission is getting increasingly harder. Their empty donation room shelves revealing the impact. We're seeing the largest number of arrivals that we've had in at least in the last 20 years. This time around, it's different. Instead of seeing refugees and immigrants from one country, they're coming from all over the world. In the last six months, we've seen people come from at least 23 countries and, and speaking 55 different languages. The influx is welcoming news for the Bi-State. This community has seen a declining population and these people coming to St. Louis bring tremendous value. But the nonprofit can't do it alone. There's not enough manpower, there's not enough financial resources that can bridge the gap between where these people are coming from and where we can get them to. It's hosting donation drives to help fill the barren racks. People are also being asked to support financially or through volunteering. Everyone has to play their part in making St. Louis welcoming. What we are doing today is building a St. Louis of tomorrow, one that is multicultural, one that is welcoming, and one that is prosperous for everyone. Right now, the International Institute of St. Louis is asking for new items only. I'll break down their most needed items coming up in our next half hour. Live in South St. Louis, Mercedes McKay, five on your side. Four American college instructors stabbed in China. What we learned overnight about one victim's condition. All right, a great day to get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Low humidity, temperatures right about near 80 degrees this afternoon. And even this morning, a few 40s on the map. Take it in, those 90s hit as soon as tomorrow. Well, Pride Month is in full swing. How St. Louis City is celebrating today.